for you. My name's Jonathan Stock, and I live in Sunset Park at uh, 11th and Hill. Got a question for you. A very simple question. We talked about proprietorship powers of the city. If somebody had the temerity, if somebody had the temerity to sue the city and say, hey, we're suing you over nuisance, we're suing you over takings, we're suing you over all the things that you can sue a proprietor of an airport for, right? The proprietor powers? Could the city defend that lawsuit? Could the city say, hey, we're going to defend this lawsuit by shutting down massive parts of the airport under the proprietorship powers that you spoke about? Again, I think that there's certainly an argument for that. Um, I think that FAA is going to fight it pretty fiercely. Uh, but based on the case law that I've read, I think there's a at least good argument that the city has the power as the proprietor of the airport to make a decision about whether or not it wants to spend money on tort liability or whether it wants to spend that money on police officers. So in other words, the answer is yes. The city could defend itself by saying, oh my goodness, we've been sued. Oh my goodness, there are people whose houses are shaking, there are people whose property values are affected, there are people whose kids are inhaling lead particulates, because you know, all air aviation fuel is thick with lead. That's what makes it so good. If somebody sued the city over that, the city would have a right to say, to defend that lawsuit, we have to shut down major parts of that airport to defend ourselves. I think that argument's there. I think the FAA certainly disagrees with it. And I think the 1984 agreement complicates it, but in 2015, I think there's less uh, basis for undermining those powers.